and welcome to my YouTube channel where every episode I take a physics topic and really try to explain it in a simple and understandable way. Now some episodes are just going to be fun physics facts but most I'm going to try and tie in to the current school curriculum so when that's the case I'm going to put the key stage in the episode title. Today I am taking you to space. We are learning all about our solar system. Stars are extremely massive balls of hot gas that are held together by gravity and it's the nuclear reactions inside the star that produces its energy and gives out light. The Sun is our nearest star and the energy it gives out is the source of our solar system's heat. So the Sun is at the centre of our solar system, bang, right in the middle, doing its thing, giving out light and heat. Doing my thing. Now a planet is a large body that orbits a star, so the Sun has eight planets that orbit it and Earth is one of them. Because the Sun is so huge, it has a very large mass and therefore a very strong gravitational pull. And it's this gravitational pull from the Sun that keeps all the planets in orbit. And these are elliptical orbits, so like elongated circles. And one last thing about planets is that they don't give out light like the Sun and other stars do. That's the background done. Now for the fun stuff. Let me talk you through what our solar system looks like. Like I said earlier, you have the Sun right in the middle. And then the closest planet to the Sun is Mercury. And then you have Venus and then Earth. So we're third from the Sun. Then you have Mars, and then the asteroid belt, and then Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. That's all our eight planets in order from the Sun. Now, this isn't necessarily part of the curriculum, but it's super interesting. So I'm just gonna talk you through a little bit about each planet so you can see what they're like and how cool our solar system is. Mercury is both the closest planet to the Sun and the smallest planet. Because of its smaller size, the gravitational field is so small that your weight on Mercury would only be 38% of what your weight is on Earth. It rotates really slowly though, so it takes like 59 Earth days to do one full rotation. But then like only 88 Earth days to do one full orbit around the Sun. So long days, short years. Mercury is super dense. It's actually the only planet that's more dense than Earth. And this is because it's made up of really heavy metals and rocks. Also, even though it's the closest to the sun, it's only the second hottest planet. I wonder which is the hottest then? Well, this brings us on to our lovely Venus. Venus is nearly as big as Earth, but it has really long days, with one full rotation taking 243 Earth days. Venus rotates in the opposite direction to most of the other planets, meaning it rotates in the opposite direction to the Sun, and this is called retrograde rotation. Venus is the second brightest object in the sky, only being beaten by the Moon. And it's Venus that's the hottest planet in the solar system at a whopping 464 degrees C. This is because of its dense atmosphere that traps the heat and causes a greenhouse effect. And lastly, it doesn't tilt on its axis. So this means there's no seasons on Venus. What a strange concept. Okay, so the next is Earth, and I'll try to keep it brief because I feel like we know a lot about this one. The Earth was formed approximately 4.54 billion years ago, and it's the only known planet to support life. So far. Earth has a powerful magnetic field due to the nickel-iron core of the planet coupled with its rotation. And Earth is the most dense planet! Yay! Okay, on to our last terrestrial planet. 
So the terrestrial planets are the four closest planets to the sun, and they're called this because of their compact, rocky surface. This means that Mars is next, fourth from the sun. Mars is home to the tallest mountain in the solar system, reaching an amazing 21 kilometers high and 600 kilometers in diameter. Mars and Earth have similar land mass, but the gravity on Mars is so small that you could jump almost three times higher on it. That would be so cool. There are signs of liquid water on Mars. So we've known for years that Mars has water in the form of ice, but scientists believe they've seen the first signs of trickling water in satellite images. All right, that's the four terrestrial planets done. Here, we are slightly interrupted by the asteroid belt, but then we continue on through to Jupiter. Jupiter is one of the two gas giants in our solar system. It has the shortest day of all the planets, completing a rotation once every 9 hours and 55 minutes. However, Jupiter takes 11.8 years to complete one full orbit around the Sun. There's a great red spot that we can see on Jupiter, and this is a huge storm that's raged over 350 years. This red spot is so large that three Earths could fit inside it. That's terrifying. Jupiter has 79 moons, and one of them is bigger than Mercury. And it has rings composed mainly of dust particles from collisions with comets and asteroids. Okay, now the next gas giant is also the next planet in line, which is Saturn. Saturn is the flattest planet and also has the most extensive rings in the solar system. They're mostly made out of chunks of ice and stretch out really far from the planet, but are amazingly only 20 meters thick. Saturn has 150 different moons and moonlets, which are just smaller moons, how cute, all of which are frozen worlds. How cool, pardon the pun. On to the last two planets in our solar system, and these are the ice giants. First, we have Uranus, and this is another planet that rotates in retrograde, so in the opposite direction to the sun. Uranus takes one trip around the sun every 84 Earth years. Well, Uranus hits the lowest temperatures of any planet, with a minimum temperature of minus 224 degrees C. But because Neptune has a lower average temperature, Uranus isn't classed as the coldest planet in the solar system. But you can see now why they're called the ice giants. And lastly, on to Neptune, which is actually smaller than Uranus, but has a greater mass. Neptune spins pretty quickly and completes a full rotation in only 16 hours. There's methane in the atmosphere that absorbs the red light and makes the planet appear a lovely blue colour. And it has 14 moons. So there we have it, our solar system. Which planet was your favourite? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to learn about other cool physics facts, then please like and subscribe and watch all of my other videos. And if you want to learn about a specific topic, please leave a comment below and I'll try to do a video for you.